ResGen is a set of real-time generative visuals created entirely using Resolume's built-in sources and effects. Use these as templates to create your own generative visuals or adjust parameters on the fly with easy-to-use dashboard controls. Since these were built inside of Resolume, any parameter can be linked to audio or BPM. Best of all, it's lightweight and doesn't use any rendered footage. It's an alternative way to get creative and experiment with your live visuals. We've included two versions, one built for 720p and 1080p. We recommend using the 720p version for less powerful systems since it is graphics intensive and requires a good video card or dedicated GPU as recommended by Resolume. If you'd like to load ResGen into an existing composition, click on the Composition tab in the browser panel and drag and drop your ResGen deck into an empty slot. Otherwise, load the ResGen composition of your choice by going into the Composition menu and opening it from there. ResGen contains 45 unique generative clips and 15 custom audio reactive versions of those clips. Resolume does not render thumbnails for its internal sources, so we've included a thumbnail guide for your reference. You can use your preview monitor to view and tweak these generative visuals before triggering them to your main output. To provide an easy way to customize these visuals on the fly, we've set up parameters using dashboard controls for each generative clip. We've labeled the controls with simple names that describe what they do. For this visual, you can adjust color, shape, thickness, rotation, and more. The beauty of real-time visuals in Resolume is that you can alter any parameter to your taste. Our default parameters were set to what we think looks best for each visual. As you can see, I've made some adjustments to this fading streaks clip. To restore the values back to their default setting, right click on any dashboard rotary. Now the visual is reverted back to its original state. If you want to change the default parameter of one of your dashboard controls, like color for instance, drill down into the video effects, find the link dashboard parameter. In this case, it's under hue rotate. Change the color to the default you'd like. Drag the hue directly into its designated dashboard rotary and you're good to go. Now when I tweak the colors and right click on the rotary, it reverts back to the red that I chose. This can be done for any of your dashboard controls. You can also replace or create new controls with this method of dragging the parameter name directly onto the dashboard. If you want to increase the range of values available for some of the parameters, for instance the twist controls range has been limited for aesthetic reasons. If you'd like the full range of values, Go into the tunnel effect and you'll see the dashboard controls label here by twist. So right now this is the current range of values you can choose. We've limited the range because it gets somewhat jaggy at higher values. But if you would still like the full range, just drag the ends of the range slider and now you'll have access to the full range of values from your dashboard rotary. When replacing an existing dashboard control, Make sure to deactivate it before replacing it with a new one. This can be done by unlinking it with the dashboard and clicking on basic or something else. We've built these generative visuals with layering in mind. One thing you might want to do is create new versions of these generative clips. Easily duplicate any clip by holding alt or option and dragging the label of your selected clip to an empty slot. Now you can add additional effects or tweak the existing version. Let's change the style of this twisted quads visual. We'll choose edge detection and drag it to the effects chain. Now let's change the blending mode to add. 
Now we'll bring the opacity down so we have a nice outline over this visual. Now let's add another effect. We'll be using the trails effect. So drag that to the effects chain. Let's work with the feedback parameter and I'll change that to 0.75. Now we have a nice derivative of the original clip. Lastly, let's add one more effect. This time we'll go with Twisted. We'll add Twisted below Trails so that it affects the entire effects chain. And I'll change the Twirl parameter to 0.15 and the Radius to 0.45. Using the dashboard controls, you can now tweak your newly created visual to taste. I'll just make some adjustments here. Now let's drag the twirl parameter of the twisted effect into our dashboard controls so we can change the style of this visual on the fly. The combinations and possibilities are almost endless and having quick access to certain parameters with dashboard controls makes it easier to experiment with new looks. Another advantage of using these visuals created in Resolume is all alpha channel information is available. Let's trigger some visuals and create a pleasing composition. I'll be loading up this taco visual, which means octopus in Japanese, by the way. Bullseye bobble and tile zoom. First, let's tweak the visuals using the dashboard controls so they're more cohesive. I'll adjust the colors and change the look of these visuals so that everything blends better. The nice thing about having dashboard controls is that you don't have to dive too deep into the effects chain. And you can make adjustments a lot faster this way. So I'm almost done tweaking this here. All right, that looks pretty good. But the blend mode of the taco layer makes our composition look busy. Since our visuals have an alpha channel, we can bring up the opacity to 100%. And now this layer stands out from the background a lot better. All right, let's go ahead and change our visuals up. And we'll get into another example. This time it's regarding speed. For some visuals, you may want to adjust the speed of a parameter. We included speed controls on visuals where the parameter could be accessed by dashboard controls, but in some cases, you'll have to adjust this in the effect itself. I've loaded up a clip called Line Gen, and this is a visual to generate stylized lines quickly. We've made certain parameters quickly accessible, like the thickness of the lines, how many lines are showing, different styles you can use, even the shape and the rotation of the lines. This is all really handy if you need to layer some lines over your visuals. So if you've noticed, there is no speed control in the dashboard controls. To adjust speed, what you'll want to do is click on the parameter section of the clip. Here you'll see the line position parameter that's animating using the timeline. Increase the speed value here to speed it up. And you can also reverse the direction or make it random by clicking on the controls. And every visual in ResGen, you have access to every single parameter, which makes it really powerful. Another useful feature of Resolume is the ability to link parameters to BPM. Let's load up Neon Peaks and synchronize its animation to BPM. I've also got Gridscape loaded up to act as a background. I want the height of these peaks to move along with BPM. So to do this, we'll drill down into our video effects, and under the terrain effect is the height parameter. Right now it's animating on the timeline, but what we'll do is click on the small arrow and click BPM Sync. Set the beats to 1, so it hits on every beat. Let's play some audio and tap to get the BPM of the song. So what I've done is tap double time to this song and re-synced it on the first beat. Now that the height parameter is moving to every beat, let's increase the max range to 0.5 so that it's more pronounced. The great thing about generative visuals is you can animate any parameter to BPM. It's a simple way to make your visuals move to the music.
Included in ResGen are 15 clips pre-configured to react to audio. First make sure your source is selected by clicking on Arena, Preferences, and Audio tab. Make sure your external audio FFT input source is selected, and adjust the audio input gain if needed. Let's play back some audio and I'll give you a preview of each of the 15. These are just some of the different ways you can animate the generative visuals included in ResGen. Experiment and link parameters to your heart's content. We hope you have as much fun tweaking these visuals as we did making them. Create variations, stack more effects, use these to complement your existing rendered loops and clips, and create entirely new looks based on the visuals in this set. Be sure to leave us comments or share some of what you create. If you're interested in these generative visuals and don't have them yet, please visit the DocOptic.com shop. Thank you so much for your support, and happy triggering!